how to connect Google Chats to Monday.com. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect Google Chats to Monday.com. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to explain the tools we are going to use today. We're going to use obviously Google Sheets. We're going to use Monday.com and we're going to use Zapier. This is the tool that is going to allow us to transfer the info from Google Sheets to Monday.com. Okay, by now I'm going to be clear that I've created this Google Sheet. And here I just created also this project test Monday Zapier in order to know how to do this. This is empty by now and at the end you're gonna see how the info from these Google Sheets is gonna appear into our Monday.com. Remember, by now I just have just one line but you can transfer a lot of data from your Google Sheets to Monday.com. Okay, you, I, I guess you already know what is Google Sheets for. Uh, this is like Microsoft Word Excel but online and from Google. And I'm gonna, I want to explain what is Monday.com in case you don't know it yet. So Monday.com is a cloud-based work OS where teams create workflow apps in minutes to run their processes, projects, and everyday work. That's for, and Z Zapier, sorry, Zapier is a no-code automation tool that lets you connect your apps into automated workflows so that every person and every business can move forward and grow speed. So personally, I found Zapier really useful. By now you can use it for 14 days in a free trial. And if you want to upgrade it, this is gonna cost you around $49 per month. Perhaps, I guess there are more plans. Let me see. No, <laughs> that is, obviously you want to pay monthly, you are gonna save some money. Yeah, a lot of money, but sorry, paid annually because pay monthly is gonna be around $74 per month. So if you just want to pay 49 per month, so you are gonna pay annually, so you're gonna pay around $588. Okay, but by now, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you must have an account in Google Sheets, you must have an account in Monday.com, and also have an account in Zapier. This is, this is easy, it's just to allow Google to create an, an account and that's it. And here in Zapier, I'm going to create a Zap. Let me know if I have it already created. No, not yet. I'm going to create a Zap. And I'm going to show you the process. So we have just two steps, two big steps, because each step is going to be split in some other steps. So here you're going to select the app that you want your info to be transferred. Sorry, to the, the source of the info. So by now it's Google Sheets, but because you have here more than 5,700 apps, you are going to be able to write the up here if you don't find it yet and I'm going to select an event here from Google Chat so there are different actions that you can select so for instance by now because we want to transfer this info to monday.com the first one so triggered when a new row is added or modified in a spreadsheet so if I modify this box or if I add more boxes here, more info, this is going to be transferred automatically into my monday.com. So by now this is going to be the action, but there are some more other actions that you can select. The second step is to uh, let Zapier to get into your Google Chats info. So you must allow this. I'm going to reconnect this by now to show you how it's the process. So you must select the account, in this case this one, and to allow. This is easy. 
and I'm going to continue. Now the trigger, so I'm going to select the spreadsheet. This is test test. So here, this is going to begin to, I, I have different sheets. So by now I'm going to select this. The worksheet is important too, because remember in the spreadsheet, we have different sheets. So this set number one and trigger column, any column. So this is going to be custom. You can select two. No, I just want to uh, perhaps upgrade the info in the status column. So here in triggered column, just the status. But because we're going to add all the info, so is, this is going to be any column. And to continue. And the test, test trigger, this box has to be checked. So this is checked. As you can see, this is the info that we have already. So I'm going to continue. And now second step is the action. So this is going to be uh, into our monday.com. So we select the app and the event. So I'm going to create an item. This is what we need to create an item on monday.com. Continue. The second step is the same as I already showed you with um, how to say it with Google Sheets. But by now, I'm going to reconnect because Monday has a particular way to connect. So this is important to know because this is now allowing like the other window, but this needs a token. So where are you going to find that token? You must go to your Monday.com, go to your profile picture and now tap in administration. There you have API and this is your token. You can regenerate this token. So by now I'm going to make this, I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to paste this and continue. Remember that perhaps you could have some problems if you don't allow pop-ups window. So you must to uh, Click on the padlock, go to site settings, and here in pop-ups and redirects, allow. Anyway, if you don't have this option, you are not going to be able to authenticate your connection. Okay, now that we have uh, linked our Monday account with Zapier, we are going to continue and to select the action. So what is the board ID? The board ID that I have right now is test Monday Zapier. So I'm going to put it there. The group ID. So this month, we're going to select this and the item name. So this is going to be the name person in this case. The sub item name. Oh no, we're not going to need that. A person. So remember, Monday.com is collaborative. So by now, this is just going to be me. But if you have more people there in your Monday.com, you can add more people from there. State. This is custom status in progress. The date. Also this. This is the same data that I have here. A link, I have a URL link, and I don't know if I have more data, project, person, status, date, perhaps the project. So here in sub item name, I'm going to select the project, okay, in order to do it, and that's it. So I'm going to continue, and this is the test. So I'm going to test action. This is going to begin to load all the info. This is going to take some minutes or depends the amount of info that you have there. And this is checked. So now I'm going to publish this. This is going to take some more minutes too. And that's it. Now, if you go back into your Monday.com, as you can see, I have the project. Well, this is different by now because maybe I committed a mistake. But I have the um, state, the date. In this case, July 6th. Today we are in 29th of May, but here the date I placed is 6th of July. And the URL. And that's it. In that way, you're going to have all the info you have there into your Monday.com. 
Uh, remember that you can edit this if you want. So I can click on the pencil, take action, because as you can see here in project, there is my name, so I don't want that. So I'm going to select the status, the project, sorry. And I'm going to see, ah, to continue, sorry. And to test the action and see if I have that corrected. Oh yeah, there it is. So you can add some more spaces if you want, and that's it. So this is how you can connect Google Sheds to monday.com. Thanks for watching.